Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome to the channel today. We're gonna be talking about my experience with my OEM Volkswagen roof rack on my Mark 7 GTI. All right guys, so it has been about four or five months since I put the roof rack on my car. And I think it's been just about the right amount of time that I can give you guys some real impressions and thoughts on it and something more than just an initial review but more of a, a long-term um, experience with the roof rack. So there's a couple points I wanna make, some good things, some bad things, and maybe some things that will help you out if you guys are on the fence, if you wanna do this, if you don't wanna do it. So the first thing I wanna say, guys, is it gives the car a lot more utility. Being able to transport things on the top of the roof on the car makes it just a lot more usable if you're putting bikes up there, kayaks, if you wanna put a box on top and stuff stuff in there whenever you're going on a road trip. Uh, it really, really makes the car more usable, but the GTI is already super usable. Most of the things that you're probably gonna put on top could fit in the back with the seats down, but if you're carrying passengers, it's definitely something you wanna think about and something that would be a plus uh, if you have a lot of cargo. Uh, now, the other reason I got one of these roof racks, guys, I'm just gonna be honest with you, I just love the way it looks. I love the added profile that it gives the top of the car. Um, I think that it completes the look that I'm going with with the car, like I've talked about before, with the meteor tires, the mud flaps, uh, that kind of stuff. So I just think it completes the, uh, the utilitarian look of the car, uh, at least for me it does. Now moving on to some cons with it, the biggest issue that I've had is water coming into the cabin of the car. There's divots in the arches where the windows go when you close the door so you can line it up perfectly. Uh, and they just go on with Allen keys and they secure really nicely. And then you have a, a Volkswagen key so that somebody can't just take it off your car. But the problem is, when you close the door, the seal has to go around the bracket that is now in between the door, the seal around the window, and the actual body of the car. And I've had some issues with heavy rain with water getting into the car, but it got to the point over the summer where I had to put a dehumidifier in the car. It was probably a little bit overkill, but it was just starting to smell a little bit. I think some of the water got underneath the floor mats. Um, but if your car's sitting for a while and it's getting rain, it's definitely something you wanna think about. Now, the second thing to think about, and I hear people talk, about this a lot is wind noise. Now you definitely get a uh, increase in wind noise on the highway. Usually if you're going around town, you're not gonna notice it, but it's just a very so slight whistling that you notice. And actually the first time I, it happened to me, I totally forgot that the roof rack was even on top of the car and I was like, what in the world is this noise? And it gets even worse with the attachments that you put on. So if wind noise and road noise is something that you really don't like, uh, the roof rack probably isn't for you. Uh, now, something else I can talk about, these things are pretty pricey. Uh, if you were to buy them online, I think on the Amazon, they're about like 380 to $400, depending on when you get them, if they're on sale. If you're buying them from these specialty stores, uh, usually they don't offer free shipping. They're big boxes and it takes a lot to ship them. You might get a good deal around 300 bucks, but then end up having to pay $150 for shipping, uh, depending on where you're buying it from and where you're located. Uh, but that's just definitely something to think about. The attachments uh, can get pricey too, too. Like I said, I bought the Amazon Basics bike carrier off of uh, Amazon, obviously, and it was only about 35 bucks. But if you're gonna get stuff like tool, um, name brand attachments, stuff adds up pretty quickly and it gets pretty pricey. The last thing I wanna talk about is gas mileage. And I've gotten people that have asked me, Russell, has your gas mileage gone down? Obviously you're adding something to the top of your car that's gonna increase drag. I haven't noticed anything substantial. It wasn't like I put it in the car and all of a sudden I'm getting five, five to 10 less MPGs on the highway. Uh, if anything, maybe one, maybe two but nothing that's made me think, man, I'm gonna take this off, so. My final thoughts, guys, if you are thinking about it, if you like the looks of it, if you have the uh, the need to be able to carry things, uh, definitely go for it. I think it's awesome. I don't think it's, I think the pros definitely outweigh the cons. Uh, if you can get over the initial hump of the price, the, uh, the expensiveness of it, I personally bought mine used off Facebook Marketplace, uh, and I got it for, I think, $250, and I went and picked it up, so that was a good enough deal for me to, uh, take the plunge and buy one and put it on. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Do you have one? Do you want to get one? Are you up in the air about it? Drop me a comment down below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and click the bell so you know whenever I make new videos. I hope you guys have a great day, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.